Hi, Habs fans. I'm a Leafs fan. Whoa, 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 don't throw any rocks. Can I stay easy? I'm actually here to help you. So, your team's on a bit of a slump, huh? Yeah, I know what that's like. But you see, unlike many Leafs fans, I don't actually have an active hatred for the Montreal Canadiens. And I have to admit, when they started in first place and then f -f -f into the Earth's crust, it was a little funny to me at first. But now I'm kind of just like, aw. Look. I know how you feel. Now we can sit here and just yell at each other because we're supposed to be in some kind of crazy rivalry and you can brag about all the Stanley Cups your team won many moons ago, but that would be just like me bragging about how good I am at long division just because I knew how to do it in the 90s doesn't mean I still know how to do it today. If we can put all of that aside, if you are willing to accept me for what I am, I can help you. Because if my star charts are correct, you're at rock bottom. And even though you gotta climb all the way out of the hole you dug, the good news is the only direction you can go is up. As a Leaf fan, let me explain what the cycle is. The cycle starts with red flags. We seem to be getting outshot every night, and the coaches' lineup decisions aren't terrible, but they do annoy me a bit. But your team's still doing fine. Look guys, we made it to the conference finals. All right, we're in the semifinal, that's pretty good. Hey look, we started the season undefeated for like a month and we're in first place in the entire league. Everything is fine, let's have a party. Then comes stage two, the slump. Now, slumps can start because of all kinds of different things. It could just be PDO or as it used to be known, the hockey gods catching up with you. At least that's the cause I'm familiar with. Or it could start with an injury and I believe that's what you encountered. Carey Price, the reigning Vesna winner, the reigning heart winner as the league's MVP goes down with an injury. But it's okay, it's a slump. It's not even a harmful sounding word. A slump sounds like an adorable blob-like character from a Pixar movie. It couldn't hurt a fly. It's just a slump, we're not bothered. At least that's what you tell people. Really, because it just seems like the exact thing I would do if I was panicking from a slump is rush my goalie back from injury, which is what happened. Which brings us to the next stage, slump gets worse. And you might be like, what's the difference between a slump and a slump getting worse? A slump? is something that you talk about in a high-pitched voice. Hey, I haven't checked in a while. How are the Habs doing? Ah, uh, you know, they're struggling a little bit. When a slump continues? Hey, how are the Habs doing? Not good, man, not good. And then there is the next stage, as I like to call it, the point of no return the press conference. A press conference is called, usually by the GM, and he gets in front of a podium, and he essentially says, you know what, I'm sorry. But by this point in the slump, people are demanding a trade. Perhaps even more likely, people are demanding you fire the coach. And then, as any loyal general manager would, you voice your confidence in your team and just say they need to work harder, and more importantly, you voice your confidence in your coach. Here's where Mark Bergevin screwed up, he said he would not fire Michelle Therrien this season. And as an outsider looking in, I'm like, Oh, you never say that! Why would you say that? So that either means Bergevin is a super loyal dude, or he said to himself before the question was asked, Ah, how bad could the slump possibly get? Which brings us to... Slump gets even worse! Getting two points in a shootout win against the Leafs is a lot like eating a grape-flavored popsicle. They say it's grape flavored, but I've never had a grape that tastes like that. As a Leaf fan, even I will tell you that that barely counts. And by the way, what followed that shootout win was four consecutive losses, including back-to-backs against Columbus, who, by the way, have been playing at a better pace than the Montreal Canadiens since, like, the beginning of Advent. And then we get to the reason I am making this video, because it's where we are today. Stupid suggestions. The Habs are doing bad. The Habs are in a slump. The Habs are having such a hard time generating offense. So naturally, what you do is trade P.K. Subban. Anyone who suggests that was definitely the kid in elementary school who you could rip off because they thought pogs and milk caps were the same thing. I saw another one that suggested trading Max Pacioretty. Max Pacioretty is your captain, your best goal scoring forward, and currently makes $1.25 million less per season than David Clarkson, and he's going to for the next four years. You don't trade that, you maniac! But see, wait, why am I getting upset? Why am I getting upset? I said in the first place they were stupid suggestions. And naturally at this point, you get riled up by stupid suggestions because, well, you're upset because your team's bad and hasn't been very good for a very long time. But it's okay, it's okay. Here's what happens next. Everyone gets fired. Now, it might not be everyone. It might just be Michelle Terrio. But Bergevin really dug himself into a hole with what he said at that press conference, and unfortunately, he might have to go down with the ship. What I think ices it is if 
possibly even when, the Montreal Canadiens decide to shut down Carey Price for the season. Did you see the video of him skating yesterday? I'm not a doctor, I probably didn't even have to tell you that, but he doesn't look good, man. So this was sad. You might be going, Steve, why did you make this video just to make me sad? I didn't do it just to make you sad. I did it to say, you're about at as bad as it's gonna get. You started at some red flags, then it turned into a slump, then it got worse and worse and you went through all that other stuff, and now we are down here, where it can only get better. Take it from me, a Leafs fan, I know what it's like to be down here. Now the Leafs are right around here, but I'd still rather be here than here. You know what I mean? Don't worry, Montreal Canadiens fans. I've seen this before, and if I'm right, I think help is on the way. Oh, just one more thing before I go. Have you guys ever heard of the Dangle Jinx?